What's up, everyone? My name is Mangua. We are back more to Punisher on season one, episode 10. It's called The Virtue of the Vicious. So, the last episode, we got to see Lewis in action. He did a terrorist attack basically in New York, and you know, he did a couple, you know, he put a couple bombs or whatever. He made a couple bombs up some buildings, probably killed a couple people and stuff. And unfortunately, obviously, Frank didn't, well, not unfortunately, but Frank did not like that at all. And you know, Curtis went to try to help him. And Curtis did, you know, he tried, but Lewis was not listening to him at all. And, you know, he basically strapped the bomb, you know, beat him up, strapped the bomb on him. And, you know, Frank had to convince uh, Lewis that to, like, show him what wire to cut because he was really going to blow him up and blow up uh, Curtis and stuff. And Curtis was, we never seen, i never seen the side of Curtis before. Curtis was just really angry, very, like... He, just not together anymore. You know, he before you could see him, he's really kind of together or he was just kind of hiding it. And it was kind of cool that, you know, he described how his life really is and how he really feels when he, like, he gets up every morning, how he feel, feels about when he lost his leg during his, you know, his tour and stuff, you know, in, I don't know what, in Afghanistan or something like that. And, you know, this the, the episode was really good. I'm not sure what Lewis is going to do. You know, he I think he was saying to uh, Frank, like, we're similar. And obviously Frank didn't, you know, he's like, we're not, we're nothing alike and stuff. I'm not sure what he's going to do to capture Lewis. I don't know if he's going to go after him. I'm not really sure. Anyway, guys, let's just check out this next episode. I can't wait to even see this. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know where Lewis is going to be. So uh, let's check this out. What bird is that? I'm about to throw that whole cage down there with them. <laughs> They're not even listening to him or even to paying him any attention. Until yesterday, I thought he was dead. This looked like the work of a dead man to you. Paige, Billy Russo, Anvil. Hi. Hello, Karen. I'd never even held the gun before today. Seeing that kind of violence. And you really think that's possible? I have to, Karen. <laughs> that's what he said? Or he told you that he went for help? Wait, that's not the story. It's total unadulterated bullshit. Believe me, the truth does him no favors. Mm-hmm. Shooting a senator over a political opinion. Miss Page, Billy Russo, Anvil. Hi. Pleasure. Anti-gun senator being interviewed by a journalist with... Oh. oh my God, Madonna's there. The only place the problem lies. Couldn't agree more. But you can't give a six-year-old a chainsaw. Let me to come relieve you. Did they hear that? The NYPD. Can I ask why? Personal safety. Society should provide that. Okay, they're both dead. No, no, no. no, no, no. Oh my god! Frank took a bullet? Castle came in here to kill those people. They'd be dead. Then why was he even here? Oh no, Sam. What were you hiding, Dina? And from whom? And then I found a bug in my office. Show's over. <laughs> the CIA agent who killed Zubair. William 
Rollins. William Rollins? Are you serious? He's the director of covert operations. Okay, he turned around. Well, you want to when is she going to find this out about oh, him killing uh, Sam? They didn't, and if I find out about it, then they don't get hired back. Full of crap. When it killed Stein, do you have any idea who that might be? <laughs> no, no. How about I come by tonight? No. It's not a good idea. Jesus, if you're trying to make me feel like the bad guy here, congratulations. Nature of the lives we chose, I guess. Make tough decisions. Live or die by it. Eagle one, Eagle two, ten forty-five. I'll lose bomb the place. Hey, you one copy. Castle, drop the weapon. No! Oh! No! This is not me, Madonna. None of it. I believe you. Now drop your weapon. I'm talking to somebody I know. Huh? Scared of that gun. Whoa! What the? He's probably what the? Fuck? Castle, stay back. Walk away. <gasps> she found out. Oh! oh he's get the fuck out of. Oh yeah, I knew it! Uh-uh! Ouch! I felt bad! I'm really scared here, okay? I think we can get out of this if we're smart. Wait, you like But there are cops all over here. I'm not gonna give myself up. I'm not gonna go in jail, alright? I just need a goddamn thing. Nobody else here has to die. Shut up! Hey, anyone trying to get in here? I swear this bomb goes off! Wilson! Ah! I'm on off. Ah. Told me to pull that white wire. You did the right thing, kid. Do it now, Karen! Do it now! Ah! 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 You would have left an Afghanistan. Like a soldier. Go. Go. Go like a soldier. That sucks. Now they really think he did all this. I think she feels sorry for him. Oh my god. So, um, after Wilson blew himself up, Castle, who, according to you, is the hero of this whole thing. Do you really think Castle's the kind of guy who walks into a building he doesn't know how to get out of? Ah, oh, man, got a zip line with one hand? What was interesting about that episode was, you know, how Castle and, you know, Karen's Karen Page's, uh, you know, relationship is and how they are. They look like they really like each other. That's what it looks like, but they're, I mean, who knows, but they, they, they got the, they got each other's back and stuff, and that, what's his name, that detective got on my damn nerves in every way, and, you know, I get what he's trying to do to try to get another story out of her or something, saying, you know, trying to get her to say that, uh, Castle is a terrorist, which, I mean, I don't know, technically, he did terrorize people, technically, but he got, he terrorized the bad people, he doesn't terrorize innocent people like how Lewis does, and i I wasn't expecting Lewis to die in this one. I was not expecting that. But, but Donnie finally found out that Russo killed uh, Sam Stein. And you can see the look on her face. Like, she's shocked. Like, I can't believe I... <laughs> I can't believe I slept with this dude. Now I, I have to live with that for the rest of my life. That that was suck. And then, you know, and then, you know, uh, Frank, man, he was just really beat up. 
and I don't know how he climbed up the damn elevator anyway and with that arm and stuff. And to see him with the zip line going down with one arm, that was a badass. That was pretty badass and stuff. So uh, the detectives and the police officers are now going to try to find, or, you know, New York is going to try to find Frank and stuff and get him to court and stuff. And same with uh, Madani and stuff. And that's what I feel like. I think, I feel like, you know, Madani said, she, he, she said, uh, I'm only, I'm, I'm his only chance. But I'm like, every time they say that type of stuff, it's like you're gonna just throw him, throw him in jail anyway. It's like the same thing. It's ridiculous how they say oh, we're gonna help him, but you're gonna still throw him into the jail cell anyway. I don't think that's really helping. But I mean, overall, guys, this was a really good episode. I can't wait to even check out the next uh, couple, you know, last episodes and stuff. I can't wait to even see those uh, episodes and see what's gonna happen. I don't know how Lewis's father is gonna feel and stuff. So. Uh, please post your comments down below guys tell me what you guys think about this episode if you guys enjoy this reaction don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the video if you're new around here don't forget to subscribe button also don't follow me on my social media like Facebook Twitter and Instagram guys stay focused stay motivated I'll see you guys next Punisher